it seems our canvas height is quite small so we'll adjust our canvas height by going to canvas settings let's select custom and then under height we'll change it to 820 and let's go to insert text box so we'll create our first graph Say, for example, this will be the sales performance history. The font type will be this one. And then font size will be 18. Then that will be bold. And then the font color will be B3, B3, B3. Let's go to effects, turn off the background, and then resize the height. Next step is we'll create our graph and the graph that we will use is a stock column chart. So let's click that. Let's have it here and align it into the cards at the top. So for X axis, we'll have our transaction year and month. And then for Y axis, we'll select revenue. And then for the legend, let's have brand as our main legend. We will click this icon so that we'll be able to see all of the months based on the year. And of course, we will change the format of this chart Let's go to general first. We'll turn off the background. And then for title, we'll turn off that too. Go to visual. For X axis, we will hide or we'll turn off title. For color, let's have this or probably this one. That will be better. And let's go to Y axis. For color, title, we'll hide it. And we will hide all of our Y axis. Now for the legend, let's go to the legend properties. For color, we'll select the same color that we have in X axis. And we'll turn off the title. So for the position, that will be top right. Okay. Now, the last part will be changing color of each value. So let's go to columns. The first color will select FF6600. For a second one, let's go to more colors. We'll select EF7F3A. For DC, that will be F4B162. For second to the last, we'll select this one, 629C99. And finally, our color will be A4 C A C3. So in the right side what we want to have is let's show the featured products like what is the best sellers and uh, what are the new arrival or new arrived uh, products. So let's go to insert and then we'll select a rounded rectangle. Now for the style Let's go to color. We'll change the color to this code that is 323F5D. And border will have the same border too. Okay, let's say this will be our main header. Let's type in featured products. Let's change the color to white. And then let's add a text box. Again, like just a quick description of uh, what we want to show in this right side panel. And we'll copy this one again so that we don't need to change all of the properties. Let's select or let's type in best selling or best sellers. And then we'll copy in this shape. Let's go to style, change the color to white and then resize it manually so that it would fit nicely here and then let's create a button first so to have a blank button you go to insert select this icon select blank color fill we'll select this color ef7f3a we'll have a table so under products we'll select image url the product name and selling price go to general under effects turn off the background let's put it here so that we can see it really clear and then under visuals for values or instead let's go to greed 
and then under global font size we'll change it to eight we'll change the image height to say 50 pixels then for our container let's change the color to gray color or let's have a target color with f5 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 all right and we will also do the same just copy and paste it let's go to properties or the format or rather we can just change the filters instead so under brand we'll select this one this two and this yeah that's all we're actually almost done but what we'll do is we'll add an image here all right we want to have a perfect size of this image like this and then for the final touch what we'll do is we'll add a rectangle and then resize it somewhere in the middle under format send to back the color of this shape will be under style select black and then for transparency we'll have 40 percent all right so that's it for now hope you enjoyed this quick report design tutorial and please guys if ever you are not yet subscribed to this channel i hope you can show your support by subscribing and i want you to know that i really appreciate all of your comments and sharing of this video that's it for now see you until the next video bye bye